Pleasure to meet you, Madison. I'm a paleontologist here at the Natural History Museum. What I do is I go out into the field and I will collect fossils. And then when I bring them back here to the museum, I will use a variety of different tools to clean the fossils up and I will stabilize them so they can go into our fossil collection or potentially even on display in our exhibits. Would you like to prep some fossils with me? Let me get an apron on you really quick. All right, now you're official. All right, let's do this. So the first fossil we're gonna work on is a whale vertebrae. Do you know what vertebrae are? No. So vertebrae are the bones that make up our back. So they run along the spine from the base of the skull to the bottom of your back. And this right here is a vertebrae from a whale. Um, if we were to remove all the sediment from the fossil, the, the whale vertebrae would look something like this. So it has uh, the body vert, and then these are some transverse processes, and then this is where the spinal cord runs through the back of the whale. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to remove the sediment from this whale vertebrae with a tool called a scribe. Now this is a compressed air tool. So this little needle right here will vibrate up and down like a little jackhammer and it will remove the sediment from the fossil and we will free the fossil from its encasement inside all this dirt. You ready? I do. It's like finding a present that's been waiting for you for millions of years. And I get to sit here and prepare the fossils. I get to clean them up. So it's like opening a present every day. I learned about fossils that lived a long, long time ago. This is where we keep all our fossils. It's the American lion, the saber-toothed cat, and the dire wolf. This is the saber tooth cat. Isn't that cool? Look at those teeth. Those teeth are like huge. They're huge. So what do you think this guy likes to eat? Plants? Animals. Animals, you're right. Yeah, he likes to eat animals. Like seabirds. Exactly, yeah. So these used to live here in Southern California. Back, back, back in the day though. Not now, I obviously. I get why they're called seven teeth. <laughs> yeah, because of these big teeth, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, is paleontology isn't just about big predators, it's also about very, very small things. We were talking about teeth just a moment ago. So we like to collect teeth here. And this little tiny pink thing at the end of that pin, that's a little tiny rodent tooth. And with that little tiny rodent tooth, we can tell who was at who was in the environment at that time from the sediments that we've collected. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah, teeth are very diagnostic. They're little fingerprints, like I said. So at our museum, when we put things inside of a box, that means the fossil inside is real. And so when we put a box inside of another box, that means something that might be really important. So this right here is a fossilized piece of poop. Yeah, isn't that cool? And if we look at the poop closely enough, we can see what they eat. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Do you like avocados? Me too. So avocados come from South America. And South America and North America were at one point two separate islands. And then the Panama Canal came up from the ocean about three million years ago. 
and the animals from South America traveled north. And guess what they brought with them? Avocados. So if we didn't have the ground sloth, you wouldn't be eating guacamole. Have a lot of fun on your adventures, and I'm looking forward to following you as you explore and discover new things.